Oh my god. Oh my god. What? Hi. Hi. Hi guys, it's your two lesbian mums here. And we are playing The Girl on the Train. This is the short, gooey visual novel that's available on Steam. Not going to spoil the whole story because it's like one short story and I don't want to spoil the details too much. But there was one scene that really stood out in here and I wanted to share that with my wonderful wife. Is it gay? Prism. It's pretty gay. Is, is, it, gay, is, is it, it a good gay or a bad gay? I mean, they do end up together, and it's kind of sweet, so that that's something at yeah, least. Yeah, but is it is like an actual gay? Oh yeah, or it's is proper it, gay. Or is it just like, oh no, yeah, no, this we're is... gonna be together and we're gonna kiss, but we're not actually gay. No, this is super Fuck gay. Fuck the ending of Sakura Trick! It was so cute, and then the ending, they were like, oh, we're not actually gay, and it's like, why? Nah, this is really fucking gay. Um, I'm not gonna lie. I was very happy with the levels of gayness throughout. Um, anyway, just to set the scene, uh, there is a girl called Hannah. She is a delinquent. She's not been attending school. She likes to spend her time gaming, actually. Uh, and uh, she just got called into school and she hates it there. And there's lots of drama and stuff about her not being, you know, attending school correctly and all that kind of shit. And lots of tension with other students. So she's now she's heading back home on the train after a shit time. That's the scene we're going to set. Let's continue, shall we? How can we continue if we weren't dear to begin with? Don't worry, I'm continuing the story from the little bit I told, is what I mean. Anyway, you gonna be Hannah? Fuck the bush you can believe. Who's pressing zero? Fuck this. Gonna leave you with Vernella. I, I honestly didn't read that correctly. I'm gonna have to deal with her from now on, huh? I'm not that much of a fighter, though. Suddenly she saw someone she recognized at the end of there, there's a train. Wait. It's her. The Bombus! She recognized the girl standing with her in the empty car. Oh. She has big boobs. So so not a Bombus then? No, it's a Numbus. Because cause you just start blushing and you're smiling now. She's like, ha 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 She'd definitely seen her before. Same uniform. I must have seen her at school. No, wait. Not just school. Wait. I remember now. It's her. The hot girl! The one I saw at the school every day! She started thinking about exactly how long she hadn't been at school for. Well, if I get to look at her on the train ride home, it'll make coming to school at least a little better. It might make coming a little better. You do it! Shut up. She's gorgeous. I don't know. Her tits are just throwing me off. They're pretty big. I mean... I, I'm not actually attracted to, like, the anime trope of having, like, ginormous tits. Like that that are just that are just like literally what is that? Like that scene from High School of the Dead where her boobs are moving so fast, like faster than the speed of fucking light, actually gets me very angry. <laughs> <laughs> the girl had a tall, almost athletic figure. The athletic my ass broad shoulders and killer curves. <laughs> she's not reading, she's staring at you. Don't worry. Thank God she's reading. I get to look at her all I want. <laughs> she studied the girl from head to toe. She was exactly Hannah's type. Just as she got down to her thighs, the announcer called her stop. Hope to see you tomorrow. She giggled to herself and left the train, heading home. I'm oh, not quite I... sure why she's in her underwear immediately when she gets home. But, you know, I guess I'm... we... We do that. We do that, I suppose. <laughs> uh, actually, now I think about it. So, you Unless know. it's winter. In the winter, we don't do that too much. But in the summer, we definitely just come and get naked. Yeah. Is that is that normal? Well, we don't have air conditioning. Yeah, and we live... I mean, it's our house. It's just us that live here, so it's not that weird. Mm -hmm. It'd be a bit weird if we lived up, like with our families and shit. You wouldn't do that then. No. Anyway. Um, I'll take over from this because I don't think there's any other characters in it, so we'll just take turns, I guess. You be the narrator this time. Finally home. Now time to play something. Because I've said before, she's a big gamer. She likes Baby. her games. Baby, this is not how you voice act. Come on. Okay, but why? Uh, I'm so tired of not being able to afford new games. She decided to turn on her laptop and see if there were any free-to-play games that she could waste some time with. RPGs, card battles, ugh. It's all the same. Why does no one ever make action games that are free-to-play? Huh? I mean, that is definitely not true. There are plenty of free-to-play action games. Huh. Fantasy Moon Online. 
Hang on a second, it says RPG, but it has real-time combat? <gasps> okay. She pulled at the website for a closer look. And got all the malware. Wait, what's this? Something else caught her eye, a pop-up ad. You may be right about that. 24-7 <laughs> live webcams? Ha, huh, I didn't even think of that. I mean, that's something I could do right from home. <laughs> I wouldn't need to touch anyone, I bet I could make money doing it. This requires some more investigation. She clicked the link and started looking around the cam website. Wow, there are all types of girls here. There's even some guys. I had no idea it was this popular. Wait, if I sort it this way, I can see the most popular girls are. Huh, the younger fit girls are all the ones with the most viewers. I guess that makes sense. This girl is pretty cute. Let's see here. She sat and watched the webcam girl perform for a few minutes. <laughs> I've never watched a fucking cam show before. I ha- well, I've never watched a proper one. Uh, well, I, I never want to uh, pay for it, that's why. But it's not that impressive. I think most of the time guys are the ones who get off on it mostly. Like, uh, because, uh, because I just look at it and I think, wow, you're seriously not actually into this whatsoever. I guess like guys, especially like guys who are lonely, like might enjoy paying you know, like, for a girl to thank them and like give her tits out and it's shit like, like that. It's like Babe you know? Station. Yeah, Babe yeah. Station is not sexy. You might get one or two girls that are like decently attractive, but for the most part, they're kind of grotesque <laughs> that's so mean but no totally i true. mean <laughs> i mean not necessarily in how they look although a lot of them have like botched boob jobs on have really botched boob <laughs> like they didn't they don't believe in actually paying retail for altering your body which i think is stupid because that's like permanent but whatever that aside they're grotesque in the way they act because it's not it's, it's definitely centered towards a specific guy market, is what I'm saying. I guess yeah. that's why it's a turnoff for me. I, I, I'm just, I've just, uh, I've looked at like the thing. It's been like, here's my free show. Pay twenty bucks to watch the the live thing, and I'm like, yeah, fuck off. So that's the extent <laughs> I've ever got. I've always, like, you know what I mean. And they're always clothed in their free show. So who, what's the fucking point? Anyway, um, <laughs> so she plays games with them. That's pretty smart. She has a really in depth profile too. I can tell. I need to do more research. <laughs> ah. Excuse me. You gonna, you gonna throw up, Bubba? I might. Yeah. Excuse me. How was the Chris and Burp today, guys? Please vote in the comment section. How would you rate it out of ten on the Chris and Burp ometer? You know, you, you could do a poll. Yeah, I know. We could, oh, could, I can do a poll on the video. Yeah. Holy shit! Yeah, there'll be a poll on the video if I remember. Anyway, <laughs> read won't. the next line. She ended up spending the entire evening watching different girls around the website and making notes. After many hours, she eventually shut off her laptop and went to sleep. Well, if I have to go... Wait, do I have to? She decided to open a... Sorry. She decided to open up her laptop and head back to the webcam website. The girls here are really hot. Like the girl on the train. I wonder how old she is. She even looks older than a senior. Then how would she be at school, you dumb fuck? <laughs> Just read it. <laughs> In her mind, Hannah looked the girl up and down. She remembered seeing her on the train yesterday. She started to feel hot as she ran over the girl's body. <laughs> Starting with the thighs. Moving up Excuse every curve. You. I'm overruling. <laughs> Every inch of her until. Oh, wow. So, you're going to see some lovely little crinks heads over here? I mean, the art's not terrible, but. No. For, um, this, this game costs like 50 pence, by the way. Yeah. It's just. It's a very interesting <laughs> angle to show. Okay. She kept thinking about the girl from the train, about what she'd do to her if she ever had the chance. Spoilers, she has plenty of chances, and she does. <laughs> How would she use her tongue to lick every inch of her skin? Why are we How would she want to feel every single inch of her? She started no! moving. I can't read no! the rest of this. No! <laughs> There'll be some nice black bars on screen right now. She enjoyed herself whenever she was alone. Then she looked at her phone and realized how late she was for her train. 
<laughs> Do a bit of Stella voice acting for me here, Bebe. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> she closed the laptop and threw a uniform on before rushing out the door. Well, you didn't even wash your hands. No, of course not. Nasty! <laughs> I, I'm not going to spoil what happens, but she uh, she does... She's smooth, this girl. I'm not going to lie. She is fucking smooth. <laughs> it takes days. Maybe even hours. <laughs> to get what she wants. I'm not fucking kidding. So uh, anyway, I'm not going to spoil the rest because it's quite a short story. But it's actually pretty cute and pretty well done. And it has the adult aspect too. So... For a, for a really cheap game, like I say, like it's like 50p. Her eyes look dead. They are. That's because she's uh, now involved in the pornography industry. <laughs> anyway, thanks very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed uh, The Girl on the Train. If you did, remember to leave a like, give a comment on the video. Remember to vote on the burp scale for the chrism. The chrismometer, that's what I call it. Chrismometer. The chrismometer, yeah. That sounds like the thermometer. Don't worry about it. So yeah, there'll be a poll on the video. Make sure you vote in the Chrismometer. And um, you can also support us on GameWist. That's GameWist.com slash Minx. Please consider pledging there. It helps out an absolute shit ton. And I really can't thank all of you enough who've been signing up recently. There are lots of new faces on the private streams this week, which has been really fantastic. So uh, please consider pledging and joining us for uh, an amazing time in the community if you enjoy the content here. Uh, you can also watch us live. That's Twitch.tv slash Crinkshow. At least five days a week, sometimes even more, we stream. Check it out via the link in the description and give us a follow. Following is totally free and you'll be notified every single time that we go live so you don't miss a single live show. Anyway, I think that's it, right, Pepe? Okay, bye. Bye-bye!